There are talks. I want to say that a lot of time passes between talks and actions. Before we start the process of separation of forces in those areas, the first Deputy Secretary of the National Security and Defence Council, Colonel General Koval, who is a very experienced person, spent almost a month in the area, studying the situation, what, where and how we can do it, what we can do to prevent the issues we are being asked about, that someone would come in and occupy the area. Trust me, everything we do, we do in the interest of Ukrainian people and Ukrainian state. As of today, it is impossible for our enemies to occupy one or another territory in a swift manner. They can't do what they want there. I can say that we are in favor of separation, but this separation must be thought through. It has to be in our interest. We must be guaranteed that there will be no negative repercussions of this separation for Ukraine. If that can't be provided for, there will be no separation of forces altogether. There are technical issues with regard to separation. We can't carry out separation all across the front line, because there are certain settlements where everything has been destroyed and it is physically impossible. There have to be other arrangements and things, but I'm sure we'll get to the point where we'll be able to implement that too. Our task is peace in our homes, return of our citizens home, as well as ceasefire. The question of Crimea even if it is currently not on the agenda, we will never give it up.